NASA has revealed some of the concepts that it plans on studying in its NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts program. This program selects 18 early stage technologies to determine their feasibility and provide funding to aid in their development. The goal is to help develop these concepts so that they can be used in future space missions. One of the promising concepts is a bird-like drone that will fly through the thick atmosphere of Venus, named the Bio-Inspired Ray for Extreme Environments and Zonal Exploration, or simply Breeze. It has been selected as a Phase 2 concept, and the researchers will be given two years of funding to further research and develop their concept. The drone's design is inspired by the fins of a stingray. It has inflatable structures and a morphine design that will have wings which flap like a real animal. This inflatable aspect of the drone's design is key for it to float in the atmosphere of Venus for a long time. Breeze will need to navigate Venus's atmosphere at altitudes of 50 to 60 kilometers while riding the winds of Venus as it circles the planet every four to six days. The surface of Venus is extremely hot and if the craft gets too close, the intense heat will cause it to fail. Therefore, the drone needs to stay in the atmosphere for as long as possible. Once it loses its ability to fly, it will be gone forever. Therefore, the goal for the design is to maximize flight efficiency. It will be powered by solar panels and use an internal tensioning system to control the thrust, lift, and stability of the drone. This is where its inflatable nature comes into play. Instead of aimlessly floating around the Venetian atmosphere and being pushed around randomly by the wind like a hot air balloon, the drone will be able to change its buoyancy in the atmosphere by increasing or decreasing its internal volume. This makes the drone an extremely versatile flyer for exploring the Venetian atmosphere. Paired with the morphine wings that flap to offer precise control of the drone, it will be able to fly by the same location multiple times to get samples as needed. The drone will also be equipped with a star tracker, accelerometer, and gyroscope which will give it the ability to precisely determine altitude and position. This concept is much less risky than a fixed-wing aircraft and is very compactable allowing it to take up less room on a rocket. This makes it a perfect candidate for a NASA mission since it will be low risk and will easily fit in a rocket fairing. Breeze is packed with a whole host of scientific instruments that will gather lots of detailed atmospheric data for scientists back on Earth to study. The scientific payload consists of a nephilometer, anemometer, magnetometer, a mass spectrometer, TMIS, synthetic aperture radar, and a visible light camera. They will enable experiments such as tracking weather patterns, determining atmospheric constituents, mapping Venetian magnetic fields, and creating detailed surface scans. The mission would also have its own orbiting communication module that will allow Breeze to have nearly continuous communication with Earth, allowing mission control to not only troubleshoot any unforeseen problems that might occur, but also allows scientists to create new missions and experiments for the drone to perform, if it ever does survive beyond its initial mission milestones. This would be similar to NASA's Mars rovers, like Opportunity and Curiosity, which survived on the surface of Mars for many years beyond their initial expected lifespan and continue to explore and conduct many more missions. But why Venus in the first place? Why would NASA want to send a mission there? 
Venus is Earth's neighbor and is the second planet from the Sun. The first successful landing on Venus was in 1970. Once we learned more about the planet, that's when we realized it's also a rocky planet similar to Earth, but that's where all of the similarities end. Unlike Earth, Venus is extremely inhospitable. The atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide and is the densest of the rocky planets in the solar system with an atmospheric pressure of 92 times the sea level pressure of Earth. It also has the highest surface temperature of any planet in the solar system at a mean temperature of 464 Celsius or 867 Fahrenheit. Venus is most famous for its thick, opaque clouds which are made of sulfuric acid and cover the entire planet. These clouds block observation of the planet's surface and this is where our breeze drone comes in. It will not only fly through the clouds to gather data, but also fly under them and use its instruments to gather data about the planet's surface. All of the previous missions that landed on the surface of Venus only lasted a few minutes before they were destroyed from the planet's extreme atmospheric pressure and high temperatures. Breeze will be able to fly around under the clouds and gather data for a much longer duration. There is no other way to better observe the surface for extended periods of time. So these missions would bring back invaluable data about the planet and help us unlock the mysteries of Venus. The great thing about the breeze concept is that it can be easily adapted to use on other planets in the solar system. If the atmospheric density is high enough, or the planet has oceans such as on Earth and the moon Titan, breeze can be used. And that's what researchers are planning on doing. They will test the concept in Earth's atmosphere, which will lower the associated risk and unknowns that come with developing an experimental craft meant for another planet. This makes breeze a low-cost and low-risk concept that has a high chance of succeeding.